Okay, here we have rationalizing a denominator, quotient involving higher radicals and monomials. So here we have to split the radical. So we're gonna do four and then three a to the 15 and then four and two b. Now for the bottom, you have a two and you have a b. How many more do you need for the fourth power to cancel it out? You would need three more twos and you would need three more b's. So we're gonna do the same thing to the top here, two, three, and b, three. So then in the top, you're gonna end up with, let's see, um, three times two to the third, that's the same as saying three times eight. So I end up with 24. I end up with a to the 15 and b to the third. At the bottom, I'll end up with three and one makes four and three and one makes four. Now for the top, you cannot simplify the four through to 24. Why? Because it's made up of three twos and one three. That's not enough for a fourth to come out. So that 24 is gonna stay put. A to the 15, though, can be simplified. 4 goes into 15 three times, but then we still have um, 3 left over. And then 4 does not go into B3, so that's going to stay inside. And then at the bottom, the 4 and the 4 will cancel, the 4 and the 4 will cancel, and just leave me with this expression. So I have A cubed on the outside, 24 a cubed b cubed on the inside and then a 24 b in the denominator Now let's simplify the next problem. So here we have a cube um, We have enough to come out in the denominator So in order for me to decide how many more I need I'm actually gonna have to simplify this first. So this one's a little bit different than the previous one so 2x to the ninth. It's not ready for me to figure out what's missing just yet. I can't take anything out from the 5 um, because it's just one prime number 5 and only one of them. I need 3 in order for it to come out. But I can take some of these y's out. So 3 goes into 11 twice with um, 2 left over. So right, if I do 11 divided by 3, oh, it actually goes in 3 times, sorry. Because that would give me 9, and then I have 2 left over on the inside, right? So 3 y's came out, 2 of them stayed inside. Now I can figure out how many more I need so that I get a cube, okay? So if I only have one 5, that means I'm going to need 2 more 5's, but I already have 2 y's which means I only need one more y. So whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do the exact same thing to the top. And so what I end up with here is 2x to the ninth and then the cube root of 25 and y. Downstairs, I have this y cubed on the outside and then on the inside, I end up with 25, uh, or I'm sorry, 125. Because 5 times 5 squared is 125y to the third power. So I'm going to rewrite my numerator. And my denominator is this y cubed times the cube root of 125 is 5. The cube root of y cubed is y. And so I'm almost finished. The only thing left to do is to multiply this together so we get 5y to the fourth power. And if these could reduce, you would try to reduce them, but they cannot, so that is the final answer.